Welcome to another sneak peek of SolidWorks 2015, where today we're going to take a look at some new enhancements found in costing. Costing in SolidWorks 2015 now supports many new component types, including machine parts made from castings, additive manufacturing, and in this case you'll notice that it also now supports welded profiles. Welded profiles are a little bit unique in how we calculate the raw stock cost. So let's go ahead and start by locking in our baseline for this part. As we dig into what generates the cost for a weldment, you'll notice that it now supports the individual welds themselves. When I click on this, we can see that this is calculating the cost for all the 5mm welds that we've created on this part. Like standard multi-body costings, it also supports the cost for all the individual machine plates, but that's not really new. What's also new here is the support for all of the structural members that we'll see here. And in some cases, you'll notice that if we dig a little bit deeper into this, we can find what's actually driving the cost for this. Let's take a look at one of these structural members, for instance. The cost is being driven by the need to cut the, from the stock length the individual end cuts on the part, and we can see those listed here. Furthermore, if we go over into the costing dashboard, we can see that it's automatically calculating the information based on the standard, the profile type, and the size. But most importantly, we can see how the cost is generated, in this case, on a per length basis. Now, in some cases, you may need to calculate your cost based on cutting it from an overall stock length. In this case, we can see that we would be able to cut five of these bodies from a three meter piece. Because of that, we're left with some excessive scrap here, and you can see that that drives the individual cost of this body up. This information can be defined inside of the template editor and if we launch this you'll see that there's now support to enter all the information for the structural members here. In addition, if we return back to the top level and we allow costing to recalculate the new cost for our part with the increase in price, we can see it's increased by 31% in this case. We can also see in the template editor, here we now have support for the individual weld beads that we want to put into our design. So as you can see, SolidWorks costing now not only supports new types of costing, but understands the manufacturing methods associated with them.